attack your weak spot for massive damage. I don't know what the fuck that was from. Can someone let me know? Hmm, yeah. So, what I like to do here... Hang on, I've got a better idea. Ooh. So, we open that anytime now. Pick up the key. Oh, nice! That worked perfectly. Oh, that was excellent. I never tried that before. Put a mine at the door and then pick up the castle gate key. Friggin' awesome. There's usually too many friggin' zealots to do anything else with, so that worked well. Because usually this place... I got killed a couple times. I got injured almost every other time. Come on, die. Ah. Oh. Bastard refuses to die. I'll make him die. You will die. Yeah. Uh, what did I tell you? Hang on, I got an idea. Oh, shit. Shoot it, now. It's still alive. That's very bad. Little fleshy thud. I like how it doesn't move when you shoot it. It makes it easier to kill it. Anyway, that is the best I've ever done. If you have the mine thrower at this point, use it. Put a mine close to the door, then pick up the castle, the castle gate key. That'll kill about four zealots. Or two, maybe. Anyway, in either case, that makes it a lot easier. I've never done it that way before, and I recommend doing it every time. Very, very nice. I'm going to shoot that just because I'm so happy about it. That'd be hilarious if I actually went through the other way and I killed it. It's like, oh, fuck. But that went well. I never thought of doing that before. I'm, I'm amazed. My creativity knows no bounds. Use the castle gate key and we enter. Remember that thing just after you killed the Largo and you can get out of the level boundaries that I mentioned ages ago? You might even not remember it. But um, you use the Dipman glitch, jump down a ladder or something. Um, you do that in a slightly... In a, you don't do it there when you jump into the merchant's little place thing. That's really scary, Salazar. Can you just, yeah? Um, you don't do it on that ladder. You do it in a different place, and I think it's in the same area. And um, you have to have the dip man glitch activated to do it. So I'll do it on my next playthrough. Maybe I'll make a video about it. But uh, yeah, meet Salazar, also known as Napoleon. <laughs> Cheese. My, my. We've got a feisty one. If you care for your own well-being, I suggest you surrender yourself and simply... Simply! ...become a hostage. Or, Mr. Scott, you can give us the girl because you're not worth a penny, I'm afraid. You can die. I'm never turning into one of them. Never. Got that right. We'll find a cure. <sighs> okay, so for a hidden treasure, or semi hidden, and that closes every single time. You won't actually be able to get back here. Yeah, Ashley, get down. Get down, foo. You won't be able to get back here until I think like chapter 4 1. And considering the fact that this is 3 1, which is a really long ass time, get used to these things where you have to find like an ornament or something and put it in a wall to open a secret door to advance later on. You can't go through there yet, so don't bother. Smash. Oh, nothing in there. This better have something. Yeah. Velvet blue. That's what I thought. Smash. No, oh, one of them didn't have anything either. They usually always have something. Hmm. Usually always. Follow me. I question my own grammar at times. Okay, so just to save time, I know there's a typewriter there, but I'm going to save it. Uh, you're going to want to use that lantern a bit later too. Hang on. I'll just raid this whole place, and throughout the entire castle, there are going to be pictures of Salazar, uh, yeah, Sadler, not Salazar, stupid. Just knock them down and get the money behind them. There's always something behind them if you can knock it down. If you can't knock it down, obviously there's going to be nothing behind it. Three mind arts, nice. 
Can you see the shotgun ammo just there that I'm pointing to? Yeah. I'll probably be needing that later as well. But considering how easy it was when I did it in Mercenaries, it shouldn't be too hard this time. <laughs> what you say? I just jinxed myself. I'll get the uh, prison key. It's a pretty good looking key. And I think, um, obviously you can't go that way yet because, you know, fire hurts. And I think Ashley gets killed instantly by fire. You know, when OTG was playing it, um, he threw an incendiary grenade and Ashley didn't die. Maybe she got hit beforehand or something and it staggered backwards, I don't know. I didn't have a clue how she survived that. Usually fire kills her instantly, but okay. Capture Lewis Sarah. I have confirmation that Sarah has entered the castle. Why he would return during his escape leaves me to question his motives, but we must seize this moment and capture him. We will get the other two Americans after we apprehend Sarah. It appears he took some vaccines when he stole our sample. The vaccines we can do without, but we must retrieve the sample for it is our lifeblood. I feel there is somebody else or some other group involved in this whole affair. If the sample were to get into the hands of, the, of that other entity, the world which we seek to create will not come. We must apprehend Sarah as quickly as possible. There always has to be some kind of foreshadowing line at the end of every single note. It's become like a rule now. Hang on a second... No. Uh, later on you can open these little cabinets that I just tried to open, which didn't work. Break that, so I have to do less screwing around later. Open that. Save my game. And yes, I'm going to keep playing. So, uh, anybody... If you've seen my... Uh, hang on a minute. It's locked. What a sturdy door. A prison, perhaps. Well, let's use the prison key, Captain Obvious, to open the big-ass door. Let's make this really easy on ourselves and leave what? Ashley out here. His, remember the Garador? Yeah, you're about to meet him in the main game. And I think there are three of them in the main game, if I remember correctly. Or, depending on your difficulty. Anyway. Bells, bells, bells. Shoot the shotgun ammo down. You'd think that that shot would make them explode or something, but, uh, you know, I guess not. And there's nothing else on the rafters, so don't worry. I think they're called rafters. Correct me if I'm wrong. And I'm over my, my, uh, la, 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 la. Let me get this sentence composed first. My vocabulary has been degrading ever since I went to secondary school. Can you understand why? Oh, he's blind. Now what this means, yeah, you gotta flick that lever to deactivate the fire to progress in the game. This Garador guards that fire, and as soon as you go for that lever, he will awaken. You can pull that lever and kill the Garador, or you can do it the other way around. If you try and leave while this guy is still alive, the door will close, which is exactly what we want to do. I failed, failed, fuck. Whoa, 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 balls. Get away. Oh shit, oh shit. Please run, walk away somewhere else. Yeah, stick that, you fuck. Run, run, run. Uh oh, wall charge. Shotgun time to the back, motherfucker. Mm, take that, you son of a bitch. If you know how to kill him, he's easy. If you don't, he's still easy because you can figure it out by fluke. Blacktail. Fudge, fudge, fug. Okay. This is going well. I better not say that. What's the matter? Can't find me? Huh? Can ya? Can ya? Can ya? Ha! <laughs> Just keep facing that way, dumbass. Oh crap, oh crap, oh crap. It almost didn't end well. Uh, obviously flash grenades don't work on this guy, so we will do this. Be a stealthy bastard. Nice shot. It's possible to knife fight this guy. Whoa, where are you going? Whoa! That was close. I don't like how close that was. I do believe it is about time that I murdered you. Hang on a minute, let's make this more fun. Mine thrower! Nah! <laughs> you better die from that. Yes! Fucking awesome. No damage, close calls. Just what I want. Follow me. 
So now you want Ashley to follow you, otherwise she'll get uh, abducted or killed. Fifteen grand. And as soon as you flick this lever, the uh, zealots will activate. And the fire won't, so that's good. Fire is bad, unless it's an incendiary grenade aimed at somebody's face. I have a lot of healing items. Tons of ammo. Good amount of grenades. And my gun variety is very nice. Let's keep going, because this is going well. Shut up. Die. This is why I said save the lantern. Wait for it. 